People come in here to pray. And you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Not to the living and not to the dead. Especially not the dead. For families whose loved ones have passed on this mausoleum in Vaughan is a sacred place. It's a place to come pay respect. Some also come and bring small trinkets that remind them of their loved ones, though. A family we spoke with today say items like this have been disappearing from here for years. This is our plot. We paid for this. It's ours. This is their home. This is his home. So don't come into his home and touch. Lucy Famia will never stop mourning the deaths of her father and sister. But she claims her family's sadness has been magnified by the theft of mementos and charms they leave at their respective resting places inside a mausoleum at the Queen of Heaven Catholic Cemetery in Woodbridge. This isn't just a recent issue. This has been happening. This has been happening. My dad's been here 19 years. years. Um, my sister now will be a year on December 21st. We lost her just before Christmas. For me, his sister Donna Mackley Figliomani died of colon cancer in December. One of her sons hit a Pandora charm in the crypt's fake flower bouquet around Thanksgiving. Now it's gone. It was hidden behind here, entwined in the flowers. So whoever did it, either they knew it was there, or they just go and have nothing better to do and go through people's plots and, and steal. And it is disgusting, and it is sad that you can steal from a dead person. It's sad. The mausoleum is owned by the Catholic Cemeteries and Funeral Services Archdiocese of Toronto. They currently have security cameras at the entrance of the cemetery and outside the sprawling three-floor building, along with a code you have to enter into a keypad. But Famia is calling for security cameras to be installed to keep precious items safe, as well as for personal safety. This is why we brought you here, because we want to put it out there, and Queen of Heaven needs to step up to the plate and do what they got to do and put some cameras in here. In part, a written statement to City News from a spokesperson says the primary goal of our security program is to keep visitors, employees, and those interred safe. We have industry-leading security protocols in place. The decoration guidelines for the cemetery state that only fake flowers and a rosary are permitted on the crypts. The Archdiocese also tells City News they've told the family on multiple occasions not to leave valuables inside the mausoleum and that they're not responsible for stolen or missing items. All they tell you is don't leave anything that's of value. So we can't leave anything. This is our comfort. No, we can't bring it to them in their home because we're not here. When you've asked them to put a camera inside, what is their response? Uh, for people's privacy, because people cry. We're all going to cry. This is a place where you come and cry. It's in the office. Nobody's going to see it other than the people in the office. You pay fifty, sixty thousand dollars for a for a burial, and you can't afford a camera? Are you kidding me? No, it's wrong. The Queen of Heaven Catholic Cemetery is no small operation. It's one of seven cemeteries and two funeral homes run by the Catholic Cemeteries and Funeral Services Archdiocese of Toronto.